Speaking of backwards in the career path, oh, batteries the are going. Tesla batteries are going. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, Speaking of Tesla batteries, <laughs> um, there was go. a much better um, segue to a different topic for that. But anyway, was oh. there? Here we are. <laughs> We've segued. Oh, you're right. It's too you're late. Right, Joe. It's too oh, late. It's too late. We've committed. Too We've gone too late. far. We'll do it live. Okay. Tesla batteries mm. to get 20% more denser. When I was in school, being more dense was a problem. And uh, this is reportedly from the Panasonic chief. Apparently, the 2170 cells, which are the form factor of the cell that is used in the Model 3 and Model Y. And uh, I don't know if we know if they're in the Model S and X on the new one or not. Probably not. Uh, but apparently, there was an interview with uh, good old Reuters, my the home of clickbait, as you guys may know them, mm. commonly referred to. Uh, saying that uh, Panasonic Corp plans to boost the energy density of the 2170 cells it supplies to Tesla uh, by 20% in five years and commercialize a cobalt-free version in two to three years. Uh, this was from the head of its U.S. EV battery business. So, interesting stuff. This looks like we could be seeing longer range batteries, possibly, you know, getting more range out of your vehicle. I would like to see cheaper vehicles, if that's what this means, if so it's less materials. Batteries. Yeah, yeah. personally. Um, maybe this is a parlay into the compact car that Elon mentioned on the earnings call, which we didn't really talk about at all, but he did mention uh, basically a utility van that they want to make and a more compact car, which we have already seen a rendering of from the China factory launch party or something. There was a a sketch of basically like a two-door compact Tesla. So possibly these can go in there. They'll make those more affordable um, or, you know, give you more range, whatever, whatever. Kind of, you know, pick your poison. What do you want it? Um, faster, longer, or just cheaper? So big news, big stuff. The fact that it's the Panasonic guy saying it means it's probably credible, but at the same time, you kind of wonder why he's saying it. It seems like this would be something for battery day, which is coming... Just you know, not too far away in September. So good news for, for folks with Teslas or for folks looking to buy Teslas in the future. And uh, I guess I'll just parlay into, you know, another bit about that that I think is actually the more fascinating story is that Elon responded to um, to Te Tesla Roddy article about German automakers saying that Tesla is open to licensing software and supplying powertrains and batteries, period, exclamation point. Uh, we're just trying to accelerate sustainable energy, not crush the competitors. And uh, I, funny enough, Bollinger Motors, uh, who is the <laughs> maker of this uh, electric truck, kind of like a very bespoke electric truck, I would call mm -hmm. it. It's a uh, really expensive, whatever. It looks cool, but you know, not like a mass market vehicle. Uh, <laughs> asking if we can use their superchargers. Uh, of course, Elon did not respond to that, so we'll mm -hmm. see. But at least now he cannot have deniability saying, oh, no one's ever asked to use a supercharger mm -hmm. network, which is what he said in the past. And everyone's like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't believe you. Uh, but anyways, if Tesla can make batteries 20% more energy dense, that means you need less of them to power a vehicle. Great. That makes things cheaper. And if you are then willing to do this, licensing that your software and supplying powertrains and batteries, hopefully that means that more companies will be able to make electric vehicles that are affordable and good uh, instead of the kind of mix we have now where they're like extremely expensive and mediocre or relatively cheap and and not good in the in the kind of battery tech side of it. So... Yeah, interesting stuff. Hoping this is kind of a maybe the start of more of Tesla providing these things to other companies and, and other providers. I've said it for a long time. They need to follow the model of Qualcomm, where Qualcomm made phones at one time, and now they don't. They just make chips and parts for gobs and gobs of other phones that are all over the world because they were just the best at that. So interesting stuff. What do you guys think? Well, I don't know about you, Joe, but I feel like... Five years away, a 20% increase is not headline worthy. Oh. I mean, of course. I would hope in five years we have a 20% increase. <laughs> like, that's well, pretty much on par with where we're at. That's like the curve of battery. Oh, that's like saying, I don't know. I mean, that's just, that's on par with like the technology curve, isn't it? Well, I had to do the math in my head, and it comes out to about if, 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 say, the Model 3s are getting about 300 miles 
right now it'd be about 60 miles extra in five years i'd sure hope so yeah 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 <laughs> i'd hope so, so in three years you know i'd hope so in two years for the model three <laughs> Like well, that's not, the mileage doesn't necessarily, th and that's where maybe the, yeah, the goal is to make them cheaper, you know? Mm. But still, yeah. I'm, I don't know, I'm just hoping that, like, battery day, I was hoping that this is what we'd see at battery day this fall, and it's already in cars now. Let's just yeah. put it that way. Like, that's where I'm at, is like, 20%, okay, that's about what I was, I was expecting, like, 20 to 30% increase uh, this fall. And and then the the shocker wouldn't be the twenty or thirty percent increase. The shocker would be, oh, it's been in cars all summer. Mm -hmm. mm. That's where I'm at. But so maybe I'm just a little underwhelmed by this. But this also isn't the dry electrode technology stuff. Right. No, it says the Maxwell, the Maxwell stuff. This isn't even that. Right. Mm. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, we are going to find out so much at battery. There's so much <laughs> that we're just like in the dark about right now. Yeah. We're just like, tell us. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm with Tim. I thought that, like, I was, maybe our hopes are too high for battery day. What do you think? Maybe we're a little uh, too. According to what Elon, the way Elon's been talking about it, I would, I would say our hopes are not too high. If Elon stands up on battery day and goes, guys, in five years with Panasonic batteries, these 2170 cells will hopefully have a 20% increase and no mm -hmm. cobalt. Like I'd be the like, no cobalt is a is a much better well, story that, here. That's a that's a great deal, but they're already doing that in China. Mm -hmm. Like that's not a who. This these aren't things that are surprising. Like if yeah. he stands up and says that, I will sell my Tesla stock. Like that is ooh, heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> I want he'll, that he'll, now. He'll announce it's only a twenty percent increase in five years, and then take a metal ball and throw it at the battery, and sparks <laughs> go flying, and oh. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I think yeah, there's I, a I lot would, of other. I would hope the battery day would be more better news than that. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like there's a lot of other potential innovations in this space. I do wonder though where we're at in the kind of Pareto curve, or mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, is twenty percent a massive, massively difficult thing to do because we're already so mm -hmm. close to the actual like maximum, maximum energy density limit? Yeah, yeah. Like, is is it is that why it's exciting? I was more excited about Elon saying they're going to supply batteries and powertrains because I've been screaming that for years now. Like, guys, quit trying to deal with, like, you know, compete with, like, an Audi or a Ford when it comes to their service network. They've they've got a hundred something year head start. They're gonna be better at it. They just they just are. And building but, cars without panels. But when gas. it comes to yeah, and like just building cars, they're just better at it. But when it comes to making powertrains and batteries, they totally suck. You know, when it comes to making software, they totally suck. Yeah. So do what you do and let them do what they do. And man, we've got a great solution. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.